are still working to learn more about a cluster of swatting calls made to Iowa schools on Tuesday. TV6's Aaron Gutierrez spoke to an investigator and breaks down one of those 911 calls that was made to a Quad City area school that day. Aaron. Over 30 different schools across 24 Iowa communities were affected by these fake shooting reports Tuesday morning. Police say it started in Clinton around 8 a.m. and ended in Creston around 1030. We wanted to know what the 911 call sounded like. Our TV6 investigates team requested it, and tonight you'll hear it. There was a shooter inside the high school. There was shot another student in the bathroom here of Clinton High School. In a quiet voice, the caller provided a phone number with an 808 area code out of Hawaii. Sir, where in the high school are you? I'm locked in the bathroom right now. You're locked in which bathroom? In the classroom, in the classroom. I'm locked in the other classroom door. On Tuesday, schools across Iowa received similar calls, prompting police to respond. Investigators call these incidents swatting. TV6 investigates obtained a copy of the 911 call in the Clinton incident through an open records request. Don Snichter with the Iowa Department of Public Safety says the recordings reviewed so far all seem to be from the same person or group, not a robot. Uh, I think there's reason to believe that this would have been an actual caller, um, but uh, in some of the instances of, uh, but again, it's the, the tools and techniques that these individuals are using are ever changing. Uh, the technology changes daily. Police say swatting at schools across the country is on the rise, but they haven't spotted a pattern behind them. The same is true for Tuesday's incidents in Iowa. Since the start of school, we've had clusters of these swatting calls uh, in different states, and that's what it appears. Oftentimes, one state will get hit with several calls in one day. Although it may be too early to determine a motive, Snichter says these kinds of calls are usually made to tie up emergency services. Now, although we can't be certain what the uh, caller's intentions were, it's really just to disrupt our way of life and to cause that panic and fear. Behind me is a map of the incidents we were able to confirm on Tuesday morning. We also requested recordings from the Muscatine and Davenport swatting calls. The Muscatine County attorney denied a request, saying it is still an active investigation. And because of the way the 911 call came into the Scott County Emergency Management Agency, they were not able to record it. All right, Hernan, thank you. Now, the FBI Omaha field office is assisting state and local authorities in this investigation. A review of the incident is on the agenda for Monday's Clinton County Board of Supervisors meeting.